There are lots of tools available for CPM to compare the differences between files and uh, also to distribute those differences. I've split the file comparison tools here into binary file comparison tools and text file comparison tools uh, because they work slightly differently and it makes it easier to think about the type that we would need for the different situation that we're facing. If we start with binary file comparison tools, I've got four tools here that I want to show. Uh, so the first one I want to show is compare. Uh, compare, if we have a look at the source code for it, uh, so there we are. Uh, we can see this was written by Ward Christensen and uh, 1977. This is the earliest program that I found to compare programs. It's a very simple program. If I compare two files, I've called it a wcomp, so I know which one this is because there's also another compare.com. It's virtually the same, but it keeps things simple. If I can uh, compare two files there, and there we are. So all it does, it just uh, stops after there's a, a change, uh, a difference between the two files and displays that difference. Really simple. Uh, it supports the 8080 and it is only 2K. So uh, pretty small as well. Uh, if we have a look at the two files, because I'm going to use these in the rest of the demonstrations of these utilities as we go through. The next program I want to show is Compare, which is actually my favorite of the uh, uh, binary comparison programs. Uh, we can see here that compare.com is only 2K, so it's really small. And if I compare two files, we can see that on the left, we've got the uh, hexadecimal bytes. So we've got 16 bytes across, uh, but with uh, eight rows. And on the right hand side, we've got the ASCII equivalent and it splits it up into two sections. So we have eight rows of the first file followed by eight rows of the second file. Uh, addresses start at zero for all files apart from com files. And uh, in the second part, the, uh, the second file that we were comparing, we can see that in the hexadecimal display, we have two underscores to show that the file, uh, that the bytes are the same. And if we look at the right hand side of the ASCII, we have a period or a dot to show that the letters are the same. So uh, Compare is a really great uh, program. Only slight niggle is that it requires a Z80 to run, which for me is a bit of a shame as I like, uh, I've got a preference for the 80, 8085. But, uh, but there we are. Right, now I want to show Diffcom. We have a look at the uh, size of it. Uh, Diffcom 1.6, so Diffcom16.com is 15K. Uh, interestingly, this was written in or at least interesting to me. This is written in uh, PLI. I'm not sure whether you say PL stroke I or PLI. I don't know. But anyway, case, so it was written in PLI, uh, which is something I don't see all that often. I know there has been a few things released uh, written in it. I'll just show the source code in case anyone's interested. So here you are. So this is Diffcom written in PLI. We can see it's version 1.6, uh, released 1983 by uh, Harry J. Smith. So. Uh, well, this is what PLI looks like in any case, in case uh, you've never seen it before or you're interested. Anyway, back to the program. So Diffcom uh, looks quite similar to Compare in many respects, Compare with a K. Um, the big difference is that we can't supply the files at the command line. We have to enter them interactively. So if I put text, I put text. And you can see from the, uh, the little instructions at the start that here for the output file, we can put a dollar $list to list of the printer, a dollar $con to the console, or we could put a file name in. For this demonstration, we use uh, dollar $con to uh, output to the console. And here I can easily scroll back because of the terminal I'm using. So there we are. Uh, so we can see it displays 16 bytes of the first file, then 16 bytes of the next file. We can see in this case, in the second file, that we're using a double quotes to indicate that the bytes are the same. And in the ASCII section, it's just uh, it's blank if they're the same. So uh, that's how it does it for, uh, for Diffcom. Uh, so yeah, Diffcom's really nice. Great to have the extra facility to be able to print it, to be able to output to a printer. Uh, supports 8080, uh, 15K though, so much bigger than, uh, than Compare. But you know, uh, it's, it's a useful utility nonetheless. Uh, particularly for me with my preference for 8080, as I said. The last program I want to show is Comp. So uh, this is version 1.3, and as you can see, just 1K, and thankfully this supports the 8080. Um, really simple, uh, I'll just demonstrate it now. 
So I'll scroll up and there we are. So it's just displaying the bytes that are different. As you can see, it's released in 1987. Various people have worked on this. Uh, Erfhoff, uh, Bill Dewar, uh, the uh, two names that uh, uh, stick in my mind. And um, it only sh it's only showing the bytes that are actually different between the two files. For example, the H is the same at the first byte and therefore it didn't show uh, location 0, 100 hex. It went straight to 0, 101. Uh, which is the first byte that changes and then you can see that all the way through some bytes are displayed some aren't and it's only displaying the hexadecimal uh, version of the byte it's not uh, displaying any ASCII but um, you know, for a simple ASCII for a simple binary comparison it uh, works really well often the ASCII equivalent would be meaningless anyway if you were comparing a com file for example or fairly meaningless so uh, it definitely has its place particularly considering its small size good well that's the uh, binary file comparison programs uh, briefly compared as you can see they've all got their strengths and weaknesses uh, and i want to show the text file comparison programs uh, well just two well three programs uh, for this one and the reason that the text comparison programs are different is that they look at the lines of text and try to sync matching lines so that only the lines that have changed or have been inserted or removed are shown. And this is great for all sorts of situations where it's important to see how a text file has changed, uh, such as if uh, multiple people are working on source code, for example. So the first program I'm going to show is TextCom. So we'll have a quick look at the file for the... There we are, TextCom on the right hand side, 12K. This was released in 1983 by uh, uh, G. Nigel Gilbert, I think it was. And um, yes, so anyway, 1.6, uh, version 1.6. And you can see it's got lots of options. So uh, these can be really useful depending on what you want to do with it. And if I confer, uh, compare my two files, right, there we are. So um, we can see here a comparison of hello.txt with hi.txt, uh, the second line. And it's showing then line one, the difference there. So you can see the difference between those two versions of the first line. And then we get over to line three and the differences between those lines. And then at the end, uh, we can see that there's extra text um, at the end of the file. So uh, yeah, text forms are really simple. Uh, 8080 support, as I said. And then we've got the other options for things like uh, high bit, uh, whether it uses the high bit, so that allows us to compare word style files or change how we compare word style files. And, um, and then we can output to our printer and do various other things with it. So uh, yeah, uh, Textcom is a really good utility. Uh, and I like, really quite like the layout uh, of the display. Uh, I prefer it than the next one, which I'm going to show, which is Diff. So Diff was released in 1981 uh, by Chuck Forsberg and uh, we'll have a bit of form file for that as well. Uh, so uh, diff 22 it is, uh, that's 10k. Well, strictly speaking, when it was originally released as a diff 2, uh, which is uh, I think 12k, a little bigger in any case, but this is a uh, smaller version uh, that was um, written in a different version of C and uh, it's removed some of the extra facilities that diff had, such as the uh, BDS style pipes. But it continues to support 8080, which is fantastic. And I'll show the output of that so you can see uh, how, it vary, how it differs from Textcom. So if I compare the files we've been using all this time, there we are. So you can see that it's, uh, it's displayed three lines there and compared those three lines to show the difference. And, uh, and you can also see that it's got an error in the last line of hello.txt. So it's saying line 32765. I don't know why it does that. It doesn't really make any difference, uh, but it's something to be aware of. The nice thing about uh, diff is that it can unsqueeze files as well. But the real key to diff is that we can generate an editor script. Uh, let me have a look if I've got any uh, code on here. Yep, I don't think I've got much room. So if I... If I copy comp13.asm, there we are. And if I, if we were going to edit, because I've been switching between uh, CPM 2.2 and CPM 3, I've uh, a little bit confused. So if I have a look at some of this text, um, right. So if I were to update this, for example, so if I went to line four and then 
I altered that to say we're going to change 13 to 14 and we'll change the month uh, change that to what month we on? 4 and then change that oh it's the 27th we'll keep that the same and uh, the year well the year is going to be a bit bonkers uh, because it's only two bytes but uh, why not let's see what happens good let's have a look good so that's updated and then if I want to go down a little bit further uh, we could put some more text in there actually so if I went to and put some text in there so 22 insert uh, we'll put that we'll keep to the American uh, date format Yeah, good, so that looks fine. And if we go down a bit further, right, so we'll alter line 88, and we'll change that so that we've got a bigger buffer. Good, here we are, and if I come out of that. So that was a comp13n.asm. Where are the back files? Because I know we haven't got much room. We'll do diff. 22 dash e comp 13 chasm comp 13 n chasm comp 13 n diff. Good. Let's look at my diff file now. So you can see the diff file is only small. So rather than distributing that big, I don't know how big it was. Uh, I'll have a look. Uh, so COM13 was 10k and if we compare that to the diff file then our diff k is 1k so really small so if we now uh, use that so now we can now demonstrate uh, using that to recreate the file so imagine that there was COM13.asm floating around we'd patched it and I wanted to send our patch back then we could use said uh, to recreate the file on the other end So here's our original comp13.asm and then we've been supplied comp13n.diff and we're going to create comp14.asm and let's see how it compares. So textcom uh, comp13n.asm comp14.asm and there we are, brilliant. So uh, you can see how useful that could be for uh, distributing those differences rather than uh, doing the uh, whole file. And indeed, that, that's actually what um, the original author said. Uh, I, I quoted, in fact, he said, lately, if not sooner, it has become obvious that, that there must be a better and cheaper way to distribute software updates, to change in programs, and to transmit all of the new files in their totality, even though only a few lines in each have been changed. So there you are, from the horse's mouth. So uh, that was the motivation for it. Uh, so hopefully you've liked seeing these uh, various uh, file comparison utilities. There's more information on the associated article on the Tech Tinkering website. Uh, there's also some download links to, the, uh, to their places on the Walnut Creek CD. Uh, so uh, have a look at some of our other videos and uh, please subscribe.